Well, raining today. Can't really, uh, can't really do much when it's raining, so we're gonna do some mods to the bike today. So I got this in the mail the other day. This is one of the mods here. It's throttle spacers for the bike. And then I also, while I was doing those, I figured I'd put on some new grips. So these Ducatis are known for having a sloppy throttle. And so if you look right here, there's all this like play in the throttle. And the first couple degrees of rotation of the throttle here is nothing. And so it really affects you when you're coming off a stop. And so those throttle spacers are supposed to tighten that up. And then my grips are real plain. And so I wanted to put a little fancier grip on there. So we're gonna do that since we can't ride today. So we'll jump right in. The first thing we're gonna do is this throttle spacer. Got the parts here. And if you go to your throttle underneath, you're gonna see that screw right there, the black one. And then on the other side, you'll see another one right there. So we're gonna go ahead and take those screws off. So now we can just lift this cover off and it exposes the part of the throttle that we're gonna be dealing with. So there's the problem right there. So you see this little black piece right here? Look at the gap here. See all that play? That is what we're fighting. So what happens is you've got this much turn before you even grab any of the throttle. So we're gonna put a spacer right there and then on the back side, there's another one. Oh, it's behind that cover, the lower cover. Might have to take this other, I have to take this other screw out right here. And it's just gonna slide right over top of that little, uh-oh. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. I just dropped it down in the bike. No! Okay. So don't drop anything into your engine bay. This engine bay is serious. So I've taken apart the entirety of my right side of my bike and some of my left. And I got fangs over there. Now this is what my bike looks like. All looking for a little spacer. And I've been in here with a flashlight, just fine tooth combing everything, nothing, can't find it. And then my son Landon walks out and points. And this is what he found. Let's see if I can see it. Right there. See it? A little red piece. Fell right behind my radiator fan. And I was really worried because there's an exhaust shield right there. And if it would have gotten behind that exhaust shield where that little bolt is, it would have been gone. And that's how you catch something on fire. Plastic sitting up against your exhaust. So anyway, now I've just got to figure out how to get this out uh, with some sort of pliers or something. So now we can get back to the installation of the spacers. So I've actually popped my throttle out here. You can see now it's spinning. And so once those notches are lined up, you actually can pull this way. And there's a little, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see if I can get in here. There's a little tab. Right there. That little tab that's in that little detent, you have to get that tab up over your um, throttle there. It's kind of hard to see, but basically that'll slide behind that tab. See how the tab's hitting it right now? You get a flathead or something in there and it'll slide behind it. But that's how you pop it out. And then once it's popped out, you can see one spacer ring goes right there on that little square and the other one goes over here on this little square right here. We got one spacer on. See it right there. And then now we've just got to put this other one on, which you've kind of got to rotate this up out of here to get to it. So the throttle's off. 
and we got both spacers on. You can see them. They're very tight fit. You really have to force them on there. They're just like barely, barely, barely bigger than the piece that they go on. But taking the grip off definitely made it easier. And now that the grip's off, uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and swap out this grip for my other one, so I'm sliding this thing off. Okay, so this little three-sided Phillips bit that they give you actually will help this. It'll go to the underside, and those silver screws right there, there's two of them. You'll loosen those, which will allow this lower cover to like slide off, and that'll allow you to just slide your grip right back on, then you can tighten those back. And now that that's done, we're gonna put the top cover on. With the top cover, there's a hole in the top there, and that actually aligns it this way so that you don't put it on wrong. All right, once that cover's on, you can tighten these screws back. Remember to line up those two little pins when you're putting on the top cover. Don't force it, it'll fall right into place if they're lined up. If you have to force it, you're doing something wrong. There's a pin that goes onto the end of the bar right here in a hole, and then on the other side of the cover right here, there's a little metal pin that will fall into a hole on the lower half. And now, no. Man, there is no slop. Nothing, no slop at all. That's nice. Okay, so the throttle spacers are done. Uh, before I put my new grips on, I'm actually gonna take a minute put this bike back together because I've got bolts and stuff on the ground so I need to get this all put together so I don't lose anything all right so a little trick if you got an air compressor a little bit of hose and one of these spray nozzles this is the best way to get these grips on Lima you want to hold the camera all right so these domino grips will have one with a larger hole and one with a smaller hole the larger hole is for the throttle side. The smaller hole is for the clutch side. So we're working on the throttle side. We've got everything put back together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it up where we want the top. So I want the word domino on the top. So I'm gonna start it, get it started a little bit on these grips. It's really tight. And then what we're gonna do, oh, let's see if I can get it started a little quicker. Once we get it, there we go. Once we get it over like that, line it up where we want it. And we're gonna take compressed air and blow it in the end of it. And create a little pocket and it will basically uh, help push it on. Let's see if we can seal it up here. Uh, I may have to slide it on further. Yeah, I'm gonna have to slide it on further. So what this does is it creates like a little pocket of air and it inflates the grip over the end. This might not work on the immediate. Let's see here. I'm gonna do it from this side. There it is. So we'll do it on this side. We're just gonna basically fill this pocket with air. There it goes. A little bit of time. See that? <laughs> we almost got it all the way on. All right, now the end is a little tricky. So the end, we're gonna just kinda swell up over it. Actually, I'm gonna try the pocket air from the backside now. So we'll slip this under the end of it. There we go, done. As you can see, the grip is on, all the way seated, it's tight. These things are snug from the factory, so you really don't have mm -hmm. to do any glue. Um, some people do hairspray, and that way it makes it slick, and then you can, when it dries, it's like glue, but this thing is really tight. Grip feels really good. Mm -hmm. Now we'll do the clutch side. The so first thing we'll do is take off this mirror, and then we're gonna use the air trick. We're basically gonna pull this lip back here, and we're gonna blow air down in that pocket and it should inflate this grip and allow us to slide it right off. So we'll take our air nozzle. 
just poke it like right down in there. And you can see, you really don't even need two hands. So it loosens it so much. There you have it. We've got our new Domino grips installed on the bike and we've got the throttle spacer. You can see there is no, like it's just instant rotation. There's no wiggle at all in the throttle. So overall, this was a really cheap install. I think it was 30 something dollars for the throttle spacer and about another $30 for the Domino grips. It took, well, it took me an hour to find that stupid throttle spacer when it fell down in my engine bay. But short of that, it's probably about a 20 minute install. If you've got the tools and you follow some directional, you know what you're doing. So my tips on this, um, don't drop the spacers. Use compressed air on the grips. It'll make them go on and off a lot easier. And pay close attention to the assembly of this when you take it apart and put it back together. You shouldn't have to force anything. Everything should be super smooth and straightforward. So that's pretty much it. Real simple install again. Um, you can get these parts on Amazon. You can get them on Moto Million. You can get them on a bunch of different websites. Uh, Domino. Um, I'm not sure the part number, but I'll put a link in the description below where you can get these. And then throttle spacers. Again, Amazon, Moto Million. I think Duca Bike sells them. There's a bunch of different websites that sell these things. Highly recommend this mod just from sitting here looking at the throttle and feeling it after I'm done. Definitely worth it. I know that was my biggest complaint when I first got the bike. I felt like there was this dead spot in the throttle. So I'm sure that's going to wake it up. I've seen tons of videos where people install these and they just can't believe how much tighter and more responsive the throttle is. So I'm not going to take the time to ride it. You guys know what it's all about. If you looked up this video, you obviously know the throttle spacer uh, is a big must have. So get to it, install it. We'll see you guys in the next one.